Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Tickfinity profile from scratch without the premium subscription and also with the subscription. So if that is something that interests you, do make sure to watch this video all the way. Make sure to drop a like and check out the other content on the channel. So now we have Tickfinity open and we have a completely empty profile. So from the beginning, I'm going to run through. So right at the top, we have the start button, which is just how you connect to TikTok Live. So do make sure you put your TikTok username in there. Next up, we have setup. So this is where you put your username as well as your point system and subscribers. Now we are on the sound alerts, which is, in my opinion, the most important part of setting up a Tickfinity profile. Do bear in mind that if you do not have the premium subscription, you will only get five of these and you will only get five actions and events also. When using sounds, do make sure that these are important. So the ones that I would use are these. The number one most important gift in my eyes is the heart me. Now this is one of the most commonly sent gifts on TikTok. So all you're gonna do is type in heart me and add that and then you will select a sound. If you play horror games or anything that warrants a jump scare, I would put your jump scare gift in here. So me personally, I use a galaxy and a manifesting which are 500 coins and a thousand. Now for your final two, you can also use sub emotes as well as subscriptions. However, I would not use a subscription because we're gonna get to that in the actions and events. So for the next two, feel free to set these to whatever you want. Now, if you do want gifts that when they're sent, they trigger an action on your computer, I will get to that in a little bit. So we're just gonna leave these two blank. Now at the bottom of the screen, if you do not want gifts to be spammed, you will turn off play sounds simultaneously. And this next one, play only first emote of message. This means that when someone sends your subscription emotes on a comment, it will only play the sound from the first one listed. And then finally, the max queue length. This is how many times the sound will play and the max amount is 999. So if someone sends you a thousand roses, it will only play for 999 of them. Next section, we are on actions and events. Now, when you get to action and events, it will come up with this screen and we are just going to press no because we do not want the standard ones. Now, as we said before, the subscription is very important. So we're going to come in here and we're going to type in subscriber. Now, if you do want text on the screen, you will click show alert and it will come up with the text here and it has the templates for things that you will need to do this. And then you can go into the overlay settings and change things in here. But for this, I'm going to leave it off because I prefer my stream to look nice and clean with nothing on the screen. Now, if you do want an animation or a GIF or audio or a video file and the audios and video files, you can input your own from your computer. You can just click those and do so. And then the GIFs, they do have um, also a drop file. For animations, they do give you a library which you can look through. There are quite a lot of things in here um, as well as gift animations. Now, if you do put something on the screen um, and you do want it on there, just make sure to mess with the time. If you're going to do this, I do recommend not putting it more than five seconds because five seconds, it will hang on your screen for a bit too long. Now you're going to go to the bottom, enable fade in and fade out. Always have this on if you have something on the screen and then press save. So for this one, we're going to select everyone because we want everyone to be able to use it. Now, if you do want it more specific, like subscriber, moderator, gifter, you can also do that. And then we're going to go down here and because it is a subscription, we're going to press subscribe. When we get to the bottom, this is why it's very important to label all of your actions because we're going to click on here and then label the one that we made. And that is the subscription one done. If you do want to have a gift that will trigger an action on your PC, you're going to click create new action and we're going to call this trigger. And the reason we're going to call it trigger is because I have no idea what I'm going to set it as yet. But once you do this, you're going to scroll down and you're going to click simulate keystrokes. Now from here, click select keystroke. And if you want to use, say, an Alt F4 where you want someone to be able to close your game, you're going to click Alt and then you're going to come to the bottom here and select the F4 function key. Once this is done, that is your key input. You could also set it to, say, a smaller gift will make you jump in the game and you would just click spacebar. Once you've done this, make sure you click save. And then once again, go to the bottom and press save again. After you've done this, you need to trigger the event. So we're going to come to events. And once we are on events, everyone can trigger this. And we're going to do this by sending a specific gift, which is down here. Now you can type in any gift that you want. For this one, I'm just going to put future encounter because this is the one that I use personally for my own L Alt F4 on my live. Once you have selected the gift, come down to trigger actions and you're going to click the one which you want to use, which is the trigger. So if you are on the basic version of Tickfinity, you can only have five of these. So do make sure to utilize all five. You can also make it so it shows a video on your screen. I used to do this and have it so it'd play a video file, which showed my custom Discord server link. That is how to set up basic alerts, actions, and sounds on Tickfinity. Now, if you do want to use TTS, just come over here and press TTS. You can enable these, select who is allowed to use it, and if you want comments to only read when they start with something such as a full stop, a period, or a dash, you can click that here. Onto the actions and events to show on the screen, you're gonna to come to overlay gallery. And once on here, you're gonna come down to my actions. 
once you come to here, this right here will mean that the text that you have on any action and events will pop up on your screen. So you're going to copy the URL and then whatever streaming software you're using, you're going to click on the browser, put in the link, and then you can adjust it that way. And once Tickfin is running and is on with your live, it will display that on the screen. Quickly, before I end this video, I'm going to show you my profile on Tickfinity so you can see all the things that I have on here for the premium subscription. Okay, now we are on my sound alerts and as you can see, there are quite a lot. I'm just looking down here, you can see that some are missing and what this means is when TikTok remove the gift, whether it be a Christmas gift, um, they do remove that and it does go blank. So just bear that in mind that you will have to add them back um, when they bring them back. Well, there you have it. That is how to set up your Tickfinity as a starting streamer, or maybe even you're experienced and you just want to try out a new software. Now, if anything in this video did confuse you, please make sure to comment it down below and I will get to those comments as soon as I can. With that being said, once again, thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and like this video. It helps out massively and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.